today we are going to be finding the equation of an altitude. The National 5 essential skills are finding the gradient of a straight line and rearranging an equation. An altitude in a triangle is a line through a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. You may have seen this before in National 5 where we can describe an altitude as the height of a triangle. Key steps to finding the equation of an altitude. Make a sketch to visualise the problem. Find the gradient of the opposite side. Use your perpendicular rule m1 times m2 equals negative 1. And finally y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Example 1. We have a triangle. ABC has vertices A, 3, negative 5, B, 4, 3 and C, negative 7, 2. Find the equation of the altitude from A. First we're going to start with a sketch. So we can see that the altitude is coming from the vertex A and hitting the side BC at a 90 degree angle. Starting with our gradient. Of BC, which is difference in Y's over difference in X's, which will give us 1 over 11. The perpendicular gradient, using our perpendicular rule, would therefore be negative 11. We're then going to use this gradient and the coordinates of A3 minus 5 to find the equation of the altitude. Start with y minus b is m bracket x minus a. y minus minus 5 equals the gradient negative 11 bracket x minus 3. The next line we're going to simplify minus minus 5 to a plus 5 and expand our bracket on the right hand side. Finally we'll rearrange the straight line equation to have 11x plus y equals 28. Example 2. In the diagram below, triangle PQR has vertices as shown. And we have to find the equation of the altitude from Q to PR. So we're going to start with the gradient of PR. But negative 5 take away 2.5 over negative 7 take away 8 will give us an answer of negative 15 over 2 divided by negative 15. Please remember to do your fraction work at the side of your page if need be. This simplifies to give us a gradient of 1 half for the line PR. Our perpendicular gradient, writing down our perpendicular rule, the gradient of an altitude would be minus 2. Flip the fraction 1 over 2 and change the sign. We're going to use this gradient, n equals negative 2, and the point Q, which is a half 10, to find the equation of the altitude. Again, starting with y minus b, inserting our values. Expand your bracket to get negative 2x. And be careful of your double negatives. Negative 2 multiplied by negative a half will give us plus 1. And rearrange your straight line equation to get 2x plus y equals 11. Now we want you to try these examples on your own. Please pause the video at this point to complete questions A and B. The answers, question A, you should have got the altitude as 3x plus y equals 9 and for B, 5x minus 3y equals 9. Some terminology you should be aware of. Any number of lines are said to be concurrent if there is a point through which they all pass. As you can see, 
the three altitudes of a triangle are concurrent and the point at which they meet is called the orthocenter. You may be asked in the exam to find the coordinates of the orthocenter and therefore you would need to find where the altitudes meet within the triangle. For extra practice, please go to page 15 of your Heinemann textbook, exercise 1k and complete questions 1c to 4, remembering to mark your answers with the back of the textbook and bring problems to class tomorrow. What have we learned today? To form an equation of an altitude, we need to follow some key steps. Step 1, make a sketch to visualise the problem. Step 2, find the gradient of the opposite side. Step 3, use a perpendicular rule to get the gradient of our altitude. And step 4, insert into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a.